Okay, time now to 1.34 p.m. Just woke up. <laughs> Slept from 3 to 12.30, basically. And then I sort of laid on my bed afterwards. But, wow. Yeah, that is a very good sleep. That's a good, ah, uh, sleep. Um, it's weird, because uh, I usually sleep at 4. Last night I slept an hour early. Actually, 3.15. Um, but... I was early enough for one of my roommates to constantly walk out of her or his room to turn on the AC um, or turn on the heater, which I don't want because if it's too hot, I can't fall asleep. Um, so that's annoying. And then, um, like one of my roommates making a phone call, I think it's a Chinese guy, room five, I don't know. And then this morning, there's a lot of uh, drying and washing, like washing machine. But nonetheless, I still had a good ass sleep. This is the sleep I've been waiting for since last Monday. I feel rejuvenated. Thank God I didn't decide to go to church today. Um, also, I'm happy I didn't go to get piercings yesterday because it didn't follow through. I think nobody actually did get any piercings yesterday. Um, and Hinata's birthday party, I'm just going to be an awkward stick there um, in contrast i gained a friend at usc indirectly through lmu and i also gained a couple connections at lmu which is great um i got four instagrams natalie the hong kong girl the director the latina uh celine um blake the sound guy and then uh santiago who's in usc right now so you know indirectly i've made friends so yesterday was definitely a wise decision to go so today, um, I just want to stay at home the whole day, honestly. I don't want to go anywhere. Um, I'm going to watch movies, edit videos, the drill, you know, chilling. Um, I have a lot to do. I have a uh, do revision for CTCS 300. I've been saying that for two weeks. I really need to do that. And I've been doing it a little bit here and there. But yeah, you know, tomorrow's the midterm. So got to do something about it. Um, there's art history class paper, which is due on the same day as a religion class paper, so, sweet. Uh, I feel like I'm going to do the religion class paper earlier. Either that, or I do the art history paper earlier first. I'm not going to do them both at the same time, it's just torture. I'm just going to do them, do one of them earlier um, than the other. Um... And uh, maybe I'll order some food on Wii. It's going to rain again a little bit in the next couple of days, but only a little bit. It's going to rain again for real next Friday, so got to stock up for that again. Um, not much else. I'm still like so, I'm so happy my package is not stolen. My Blu-ray's there. It's amazing. So uh, I have a pretty good selection of Blu-rays now. I'm just pissed at Attack on Titan. Season 1 Part 2 is gone. Um, but, yeah. Um, yeah, not much else. I think I'm going to call, make a phone call with Leia or maybe Thomas at some point. Um, and, uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some laundry. Just chill. Just overall very chill day. Um, there really isn't anything too anxiety-inducing. Oh, yeah, I want to work out. Yes, I want to work out, I want to work out, I want to work out. Um, yeah, not much else to talk about. Um, very, it's nice to sort of not be worried constantly anymore. Uh, whether it be the Mexico incident, or my short film, or the film application, film production application itself. Oh yeah, well, there's a letter of recommendation, which I have no idea. I, I have a sneaky suspicion that the sole reason why I wasn't accepted is because they didn't receive any letters of recommendation. Which is a fucking garbage reason, by the way. If my application is so damn good, please accept me. So I'm gonna make sure this happens this time around. Um, but at least I was interviewed, so there's that. Um, oh, 
Also, part of me thinks that my application this time around is a little bit too Hong Kong oriented because in the personal statement, <coughs> it's about Hong Kong. In my writing sample, it's about Hong Kong. <coughs> in my self-introduction video, I talked about how beautiful Hong Kong is. My short film is about Hong Kong, like everything's Hong Kong, which I think might be a little too much. And I didn't really realize that until like I submitted and I'm like, oh wow, shit. You know. Um, but, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I need to handle the letters of rec thing at the same time. And the scholarships thing, gotta handle that as well. But overall, it's nice to just, you know, not really have a lot to do. So... All right, time now is um 12.03 after midnight. Um, yeah, so um, 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 today was unproductive. It was definitely very unproductive. I did basically nothing. I filmed a couple of reviews. Um, that's it. Um, and that's bad because I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't have done that. I should, um, I should have done more. Um, but I didn't because I was just really tired. Throughout the last week, I've been doing too much, and today I just wanted to relax, so I just keep getting distracted. Um, and there isn't really a lot of updates. I haven't called anyone today so far, um, um, and that's okay. I don't really have time to call anyone. Didn't really leave my apartment except for one small moment where right before dinner, I went to, um, I went outside my apartment door to check out the other mailbox just in case. If the uh, Attack on Titan Blu-ray appeared there, but no, it's definitely gone. It's definitely stolen, so I'm definitely filing the report later. But uh, yeah, that's big bogus. But uh, I'm excited for Tuesday because I'm going to buy my first Criterions ever. I'm definitely excited for Tuesday. I also need to buy food tomorrow at Ralph's. It's kind of bad that I need food so quickly again. But if you can recall correctly, last Wednesday when I went to Ralph's, it's, you know, I didn't even buy that much food. It was like 30 something, 40 something dollars worth of food. It's not even that much. Um, I allow myself about 110-ish dollars every single week on groceries. So 40-ish is not really that much. Um, <coughs> so there's that. Uh, really, nothing else. I have nothing to talk about. Um, sincerely, really, nothing. Um, I gotta study for the midterms. Um, I really do. It's literally tomorrow and haven't really... I'm not confident about it, but that's kind of because I don't really know what the paper, the exam is gonna be about. Like, for the art history class, at least I sort of have an idea what it's going to be about. I know how to study for that. Because it's clearly stated, part one of the exam will be exp uh, key terms and definitions. Part two will be image identification. For um, this one, I know what are they going to ask. Like, I know, like, part one will be uh, film scene identification. Part two will be, like, short answers. But, like, answers to what? What am I going to write about? I don't know. Call me stupid, but I, I'm sort of confused here. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try my best anyways. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, just, I want to meet more Hong Kongers, please. Let me do that. Let me meet more interesting people. Please make that happen. Please, something interesting, make that happen. Please, please, please. Um, <coughs> <clears throat> yeah. 
oh, I, I didn't really have much of a lunch today. Because I ate so much food yesterday, somehow, because I'm on a film set, I ate more than usual. I ate like 2,700, maybe even 2,800 calories at least. So today I basically decided to have a very non-existent lunch. I had the frozen chicken tacos at, uh, with ketchup at around like 7 p.m. And I also had like half a pack of potato chips and I just called it a day. It's fine. Um, I already ate too much yesterday. So it's fine if I don't eat much. Um, also, spring break is coming up. And I'm starting to think that I shouldn't go anywhere. Like, I'm starting to think that maybe I don't want to go to New York. Maybe I don't want to go to Arizona. Because I feel like despite being at the end of February, having been in USC for two months, I still haven't truly went into USC. Like, I, I'm, still, I'm still not involved in anything. Like, I feel like I need to go deeper with USC. Um, I don't know, honestly. I shouldn't really focus on that right now. Um, but yeah. Oh, and if spring break happens, maybe Tova will come down and maybe we can interview Liam. That's true. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, uh, uh, Glenn asked me to send him like a video, like a footage, an acting reel for himself. Um, Lewis on the Instagram group chat sent out, reposted an Instagram post made by uh, the International Student Forum, where in the beginning of every semester they introduce the new, you know, new leading uh, leader members, leadership team, and one of the members is uh, called Enoch, but it's the last name. Um, so Lewis was like, "Ah, Enoch's back! Enoch's back!" And I laughed and, you know, I went along with the joke. But yeah, nothing else. Um, I'm still excited for the Attack on Titan Season 1 Blu-ray. I'm excited for the Criterions. That's really all I care about right now. I'm really happy that I got to sleep really early. Hopefully I get to sleep early as well tonight. Please let me sleep early tonight. Please, please, please. So because of that, I'm going to shut the fuck up. And uh, yeah, that's it. What else is there to say? There really isn't. Um. Yeah, Ralph's tomorrow. All right, time now is twelve thirteen um afternoon on February um twenty sixth. Oh God, time flies by really. Um. Yeah, so I slept from 4.30 to 11. I actually went to bed at 3.45, but I it appears I and uh, one of my roommates are locked into an AC war. Um, so right before I took a shower, um, I think it's um, Vanessa's boyfriend, this Asian guy, he looks like John Cho. He looks very cold, like, and he's wearing, like, sneakers in the apartment, which is disgusting. Take off your shoes, brother. Take off your shoes. You're Asian. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> and so he, like, I saw him. I went out to, like, grab a banana milk drink, which I still have right here, um, last night. And I saw him doing something with his phone in front of the AC dial, um, and there's a QR code on the dial. Like, what the, what the fuck are you doing? Hacking into the AC? So right before I took a shower, suddenly it feels super hot. Apparently, he turned up the AC to 75 degrees. We're heating up. And look, I get it. It's winter. But also, Jesus Christ, 75. I'm sweating. Okay, my, my sweet spot is 68 to, to 70. 75 is too much. I'm fucking sweating. So I went out and I turned it off. Like three seconds after I turned it off and went back to my room, it's on again. Like, it's crazy. And then, like, I'm like, fine. So I took a shower and it got really hot. I went out and I turned the AC on to 69 degrees. I made it colder. And then right before bed, I switched it off. So that worked fine. Um, but all that shenanigans... 
uh, lasted till 4.30. For half an hour straight, I was just laying on my bed and I had my front door open so that um, the cold air from the outside could like, you know, disperse into this room because this room was really fucking hot, even after the whole 69 and then turn off thing. Um, but it's fine, 4.30 is not too bad because I woke up at 11, I had six and a half hours sleep, eh. Um, thank God I woke up early because I had a stomach ache this morning. But yeah, the moment after I woke up, it's super hot again. He turned it into 75 again, and it's insane. Like, how do you survive in this heat? But I turned it off and I think it's fine. Yeah, I apparently see him. This is the second time I've ever seen this guy. He never speaks to me. He's weird. Like, Jesus the Latino has a girlfriend at least, and at least she says hi. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck's up. Um, I really high-key wish there's, like, a Asian girl for, uh, room four across me. So we could team up and keep the apartment clean and take out the trash and vacuum the place and, like, negotiate the AC. Like, with Ashley and Rachel, like, uh, I come to realize that they are probably the best roommates I'll ever have for the short one and a half weeks we were together it was amazing because i had suddenly had the intent incentive to keep the apartment clean keep the kitchen squeaky clean they take off their shoes they were bare feet i, I had my slippers on but the floor was clean as fuck and we negotiated the ac we had dinner together like holy balls like they're such great roommates like, i really struck gold i really wish i could see them again but I also can't really see them now because they're just way, you know, socially they're way out of my league. Like, I need to have a girlfriend and lose my virginity and, you know, have a fist fight first before I can handle them. But, um, yeah, shout out to Ashley and Rachel. I will see them someday. It's weird because, like, I had a dream where Ashley died and she's been dead for a while. She, she has a sickness and she died. And I and Rachel, we met up and Rachel told me this and I'm like, what? And so we, we saw her, like, we saw Ashley's uh, dead body or, like, his, his co her coffin. And it's like, oh, my God, it's really dark. But but uh, thank God that's not the case. They're still going to raves every single night, having sex, drinking, taking drugs, snorting cocaine, whatever the fuck they're up to. Um, so good for them, right? Um... Yeah, um, and, uh, yeah, not much else. So, um, today, CTCS 300 midterms. Last night, part of the reason why I went to bed so late is, uh, I did revision. Finally clicked for me. The doors have opened. The windows have opened. I finally know what the hell is going on. And I'm doing a lot of revision now, so that's great. I didn't watch American Fiction last night. I only watched one, one episode of anime, and then I went to sleep. Not productive at all. I still haven't done anything with the letter of recommendation. Still haven't done anything with the school health portal thing. That's stopping me from registering for classes. Um, but I'm going to do that tonight. Faux show. No questions asked. Plus Ralph's. Okay. Um, my Attack on Titan Season 1 Part 1 Blu-ray is coming tonight, apparently. The... Um, the expected delivery date is March 1st, but of course it's never accurate. So it's coming tonight at 9 p.m. Yay! Why? Because I'll be at home. And it's somewhere around dinner time, so I can be in my street clothes. I'll go outside, pick it up, and before the thief decides to steal my package again. Speaking of which, last night I filed the report on Amazon, and immediately, instantly, I was granted a refund, which is fantastic. I think it's because it's the first time something like this had happened to me. I've been an Amazon user since... April 2022, uh, with the electric scale, my first item. Um, so um, they they believed me and they immediately gave me a refund. So yay, yay, yay. Uh, <laughs> so if you look at my Amazon history, you could see that I bought the Western Digital hard drive twice and then they refunded me twice. So before I got the Western Digital hard drive, I already like, had the Amazon gift card, so I kept paying nothing and then getting nothing back, and then paying something and getting something back. And same this time, I paid nothing and I'm getting nothing back. But 
that nothing is extremely important because that's part of the gift card. So next time I rebuy the Attack on Titan Blu-ray, I should, in theory, pay nothing as well instead of having to pay something because that's part of the gift card. So, yeah. Also excited for the Criterion Flash sale tomorrow. So, gonna be spending a little sh money, but it's gonna be a-okay. Um, I'm already set on which four Blu-rays I'm gonna pick up. It's gonna be In the Mood for Love, Yee Yee Parasite, and Persona. Not Seven Samurai because I'm expecting a 4K at some point. And also, um, Seven Samurai is a type of film where 4K is definitely better. Um, when, if, when it's first screened, it's in 35mm film, which is definitely cleaner and crisper than a 2K. So, you know, nerd. I'm a nerd. But yeah, this is looking real delicious. My Attack on Titan Blu-ray. Um, and uh, not much else. I haven't done anything with the art history paper. haven't done jack shit with religion class. But you know what? It's A-OK. -okay. I believe in myself. I'll do them tonight. Let's handle all the issues one at a time. Yippee ki -yay. Okay. Ooh. That's from from Target. From Trader Joe's. Okay, this is a Mexican tres leches flan. Flan. Hope this is good. Hmm. All right. All right, time now is 9.05 um, p.m. <clears throat> Haven't had dinner yet. I'm gonna do that like right now. Um. Yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, went to, um, uh, CTCS 300. This time around, I can't be late because it's a fucking exam. So I either take the 1.20 p.m. bus or the 1.50 p.m. bus. 1.50 is too late. The exam starts at 2 p.m., so 1.20 is it. I can only take 1.20. So I woke up, and even though I woke up a half an hour earlier, I still somehow had zero time to do anything. My plan was to wake up, eat breakfast, film a review, eat lunch, and leave. But um, <clears throat> maybe it's because I went to the bathroom. Maybe it's because I thought that I had a lot of time today. So I ended up doing everything slower. But I really spent a lot of time just eating breakfast. And then immediately after breakfast, I, I already didn't have time to film a review. Um, I wanted to just like film it like this, just improvise. But... Not a good idea at all. Um, I should study instead for the fucking midterms. That's going to happen in an hour or so. So I immediately made myself lunch. I made mandu, um, Korean dumplings. Which is, um, yeah, the last three Korean dumplings. And holy fucking cow shit. Um, my pan has completely changed from non-stick to sticky pan. Because the dumplings... I keep trying to move it with my chopsticks, but their skin is just completely fucking torn by the pan. And it's really frustrating. Anyways, I eat it up, and then in four minutes, I changed my clothes, I stuffed all the food in my mouth, I put my laptop in my backpack, and I just stormed away. And I kind of have to, because, you know, I don't want to be late. And I almost missed a bus, but thank God I made it, but I looked insane i look like a psycho my clothes are messy and everything took the bus went went to usc and suddenly i have a lot of free time i have 20 minutes to just sit down and continue to study so i continued to study i went to sca sat on one of the couches listened to music and looked at my notes and typed more and it's fucking insane that it's only last night when i truly grasped what the exam is trying to ask me and how to study and then this morning, I had a little more time, and then boom, the exam starts. I'm not prepared at all. 
and it's the fucking midterms of USC. Um, but uh, I'm like, screw it, I'll wing it. So I entered the Ray Stark Theater, sat down, and did the exam. Um, and is it easy? Is it not? Eh. I'd say it's supposedly really easy, but um, there are definitely moments where I don't know how to answer because I'm not as familiar. You know, usually the chronology of studying, of doing revision is, first off, you know what you're, you want to study. You know, there's a topic like cell division, but you don't know the specifics yet. And then there's a moment where you vaguely know the specifics. Um, and there's a moment where you basically know all the specifics and how it relates to um, exam papers. Um, <clears throat> and uh, thankfully, um, Leia just texted me, not the check-in one, the one in Hong Kong. Um, but uh, thankfully it was okay. I vaguely know the specifics, so I tried my best. I think it's not my best performance on an exam. Um, and also everyone's like writing really hard. Everyone's writing a lot. And I'm like, why are you writing so much? Like for um, the first two scenes or, or not for the, the two scenes. So the professor played two scenes. Um, and, um, you know, one we have to analyze the editing. The other we have to analyze the mise-en-scene. And both these scenes are two scenes that I'm the most confident in. For the editing, I predicted that it's either Battleship Potemkin or Man with a Movie Camera. It's Battleship Potemkin, hell yeah. And that's the easier one to write. And then for Miss en -Sen, I was hoping either Umberto D or Chardolata. I prefer Chardolata because of, I, I love the film more. And he she played Chardolata. Actually, Umberto D is ranked higher on my my letterbox, but I love the opening scene of Chardolata. So when I, it's one of those moments where, yeah, it's an exam, but I'm enjoying it because I get to watch a very cool movie scene. And that's like one of the rare moments where it's like, oh yeah, I study film because I love film. But anyways, um, the short answer is I try my best. Um, the multi multiple choices were okay. And then I'm done. And uh, there were a few people earlier than me. Because we had like the entire class time to finish it with three hours, three and a half hours to finish it. That's so much. So a bunch of people like immediately finished it within an hour or an hour and a half. I finished it around that time. So it's cool that I actually get to leave early. So I left early. Um, and here's the pickle, right? I want to go to Ralph's. But at that point, it was 3.30ish. Um, or yeah, it was 3.30 ish, 3.40. If I walk all the way to Ralph's, I have to somehow take a bus back home or walk half an hour back home with bags of groceries. Um, and you know, I can't take the free lift because free lift is only available after 6 p.m. So what the fuck am I gonna do? Well, um, I'm going for the Trader Joe's route then. I'm gonna buy whatever I can find in Trader Joe's um, and just call it a day. So. Um, but before that, since I have a little time, I might as well sit down on the couch and spend maybe half an hour just, you know, doing stuff, typing stuff, even though I didn't really type much because it's better to study at home, you know, do homework at home. Um, so I went to Trader Joe's and then I went to Target, bought most of the stuff I wanted to buy and then took a bus back home. It was raining slightly, like powder rain. And I was scared that it's going to turn into fucking amber rain. Uh, thank God it didn't. But I forgot. I didn't bring an umbrella because I didn't expect today would rain. So that's that. Now, um, um, fuck. So <coughs> came back home, ate a flan, which tastes pretty good. Um, I now have extra time to film the review again and edit again. Um, but even so, tomorrow I have um, assignment for my world building class. On Thursday I have like a bunch of other stuff. Uh, you know, art history paper, religion class. It's fucked. So I still have a lot to do. Um, one thing I did though is um, I, on Amazon I bought the Attack on Titan Blu-ray again. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen again. 
I'm low-key scared that it's not stolen. It's just that it's never delivered because the package is not real. That they delivered air to me. Um, but I bought it again in the hopes that it's not air and that it's a real thing. So, uh, yeah, and the gift card worked. I still paid zero dollars, but it appears that my gift card is completely used up. I, I also, out of curiosity, I tried to buy the Master Blu-ray, PTA the Master, but, you know, I have to pay nearly the full price. Anyways, that's it. One more cool thing about tomorrow, um, two more things. One is, and this morning I said, oh, the Attack on Titan Season 1 Blu-ray is coming tonight. No, it comes tomorrow night. Oof. Second of all, Tomorrow, the world building class will be on Zoom. Yippee ki yay, guys. Yippee ki yay. I don't need to wake up at 7.45 tomorrow. I can wake up at 8 or 8.30. I can wake up at 8.30 tomorrow, um, which is going to be great because that's more sleep. Um, and uh, yeah, the only issue is I need to make it to college in time um, for my art history class. But other than that, yeah. Also, tomorrow we got the APCA meeting. I think I will attend. I'm scared that that will coincide with the 9 p.m. my Blu-ray arrival thing. Um, hopefully it doesn't. In fact, I can just leave early if I want to. But yeah, I want to keep going to APCA and make friends because if I don't make any friends in the classes, clubs are the other thing. Um, so I'm going to try that. Maybe there's a Hong Konger girl in the club. Who knows, you know? <laughs> It's funny how, like, I meet a Hong Konger girl, you know, Stephanie, and she's just not it. And then I meet another Hong Kong girl, Natalie, who is much better. Like, she doesn't feel like a fake plastic doll, but she's just plain. Like, she's good at being friends. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, I can meet a million people and 900,000, you know, 900,000 90,000, 9,000, 999 are just not it, you know. So, um, yeah. But a uh, good thing tomorrow is going to be a Zoom meeting, so I don't have to wake up as early. And I have a little extra time to, you know, eat a more sophisticated breakfast in, instead of shoving cookies down my throat. Um, you know, maybe I'll finish my grandma's, Jesus Christ, maybe I'll finish my grandma's uh, layer cakes. Um, have a cup of hot choco, um, and then I will go back home and I'll have the salami cheese sandwich. Um, but yeah, right now I'm going to make chicken thighs. Yeah, I'm going to do chicken thighs. I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do chicken thighs. I'm going to do tortellini. I'm going to do salad kit. Yes. Or should I do spinach? No, salad kit. Let's do that. Forgot to mention that, um, time now is 11.42 p.m. Forgot to mention that I ran into Rachel randomly today while walking to class, but I think she's in a hurry, so she immediately walked away. We said hi, and it was a little awkward for, like, two seconds. And then another thing is, um, after I put down my, um, blue book and my exam paper, uh, the professor was like, Enoch, you're Enoch, right? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, um, we received your short film. And I'm like, okay, thank you. So are you going for the copyrighted one or non-copyrighted one? And she's like, oh, we haven't decided that yet. And I'm like, okay. Which is very awesome. It's like in my last community college, I wouldn't do that. Like I wouldn't immediately join an award, you know, like, like a competition like that right off the bat. But I think... Growing up, I've grown more confident, and now, like, it's the seventh week I've been in USC, and I'm just like, boom, I'm submitting a short film, or eighth week? I forgot. I think eight. I think I'm in the eighth week. I'm just like, boom, I submit a short film to a film festival, to a competition. Um, boom. And uh, I'm speaking to the professor, and I'm doing it. So, hopefully I get in. And, uh, yeah. Okay, um, time now is, um, 8.31-ish, um, and it's, um, February 27th. 
I slept from 4.30 to 8.30 and I woke up in the middle exactly at 6.30 and I fell back asleep. Um, yeah, so yesterday was, um, yeah, rip. I went to bed extremely late. I could have gone to bed a little earlier though. I could have, but at the end I was like, might as well, screw it. Um, but yeah, I um, watched half a movie at the end, and I still haven't started my art history class paper, or religion class paper, because it's just too much work. Um, yeah, right before bed, at around 4 a.m., I hear people um opening the door of the apartment like pressing the key like pressing the password on the numpad and then opening the door which is like what the fuck are you doing it's four fucking a.m and then it's vanessa and her skanky ass boyfriend and they're just drinking water with their fancy ass sneakers it's just disgusting to find people wearing shoes inside. And then, once again, right before bed, we got into an AC war where suddenly it's hilariously hot. So I turned it off and uh, I was safe until 6 fucking a.m. At 6.30, I woke up because of the heat. It got so fucking hot, I woke up. You know something's wrong when you turn the AC on and, it, and the heat wakes me up. So I went outside and I essentially made it cold. I made, uh, I made it to like 70 degrees. Like quote unquote cold. So I went back to sleep. So I slept from 6.30 to 8.30. But uh, yeah, fuck the AC war bro. What the fuck are you doing? But yeah, tonight, definitely going to bed at 3.30 at the latest, please. Um, part of me wants to not go to the ABCA club meeting. But at the same time, it's not really that crazy of an idea to, <clears throat> to go to the ABCA club meeting at 7 p.m. today because... I can, given that CTPR for, for a world building, is now on Zoom, and not in person. Um, I can actually do the art history class paper and religion paper during world building class, and multitask. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I of of course I won't finish the papers, but. At least I would have done something, you know. I would have finished the outline and a page. Um, and for the religion class, I could, you know, finish the outline as well, you know. So, not the end of the world. You have to realize that every single week of being a USC will throw me some sort of stuff. Like some sort of big assignment. Back in my community college, it's not like that. But right now, it is like that. Um, but, um, yeah, just, um, yeah, um, yeah, and then my uh, Attack on Titan Season 1 Blu-ray is coming tonight at 8 p.m., so, I won't be, it won't be on the dot, but hopefully I can come back home at around 8.30 so that I can immediately snag the thing before the thief snags it. You can tell how bad my sleep is by, by the look of my hair. Like, I feel like the first two hours of my sleep from 4.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. was not smooth at all. Like, I was constantly rolling around because it's hot. 
Oh, and now it's cold again, so. Yeah. Minor, minor mistake. I just looked at the UPS website. Apparently, the delivery date is, is not tonight, 8 p.m. It's tomorrow, 8 p.m., which is great news. I don't have to care about the package being stolen while being at a club meeting. Tomorrow night, I can get it. So, yeah. So, you know, let's get it tomorrow night then. One more thing, one more thing. Uh, Criterion Flash Sale is actually today. So, I thought it's like today at midnight Eastern Time, aka beginning at 9 p.m. last night, but it turns out it's, um, you know, at Eastern, um, at 12 at noon Eastern Time. So, 9 a.m. Pacific time here, so 9 a.m. here till 9 a.m. tomorrow morning is the Criterion Flash Sale. I'm getting myself something. I am. Yeah, four blues. I'm getting four Blu-rays. It's gonna cost me eighty dollars plus tax plus delivery. It's gonna balance up to a hundred, but it's gonna be worth it. I was gonna go wash my hands and immediately go back to bed for a resleep. My shower towel rack just fucking snapped. Holy fuck. 8 fucking a.m. in the morning. The house is so raggedy. The apartment is so raggedy. So rusty it broke off. Look at this shit. Like this is already not working. What the fuck? Thank God my gray shower towel is fine. It's safe. I have it in my hand. It didn't drop on the ground. This one fucking dropped on the ground. So I, I don't know what to do with it now. I don't know where am I going to hang these towels now. I have no idea. I actually have no idea. What the fuck am I going to do now? Raggy ass shower rack. Might as well pull this one off too. Oh. For fuck's sakes. The oh, fuck, man. fucking river. There's a fucking lake right right here beside the trash. Also, what the fuck is going on with my towel? It's all wet. Some uh, one of my roommates is using it as a fucking mop. Of course you fucking do that. Everything's fucking ruined. <laughs> fucking hell. And the walk was like right here. Look at all this fucking garbage. What the it's all oily greasy fucking fucking hell, bitch. Fuck you. Are you kidding me? Okay. There we go. Alright, time now is uh, 2.54 p.m. Um, just came back home, washed my face and everything. It's not the end of the day, but I need to talk because holy fucking shit, I'm crashing down. I really am. So, just when I thought I had my sleep issue fixed... Um, because of Pepper short film, um, it's not fixed again. Instead of sleeping at 3 a.m., I sleep at 4.30 a.m. again. And I had a terrible sleep, and I wake up the second I wake up. The fucking second I wake up. Everything goes to shit. First off, the heater. Somebody decided to turn the heat on to I don't know how many fucking degrees. It's like inferno. It's like, it's like hell. When I wake up from the bed, I lift my leg, right? I hit this. This had never happened before. And it's not like a super strong hit. It was just a touch. But still, what the fuck? That really pissed me off. So I walk to the bathroom because I want to brush my teeth, right? I wash my hands, blah, 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 blah. And I try to grab onto the shower towel to dry my hands. 
boom, the whole thing, the whole thing, the whole thing drops, drops down, the whole thing fucks up. And it's already a bit of an issue like a couple days ago or like yesterday where I sort of noticed that the hooks are sort of like getting loose. This one, that one too, because of course this house is fucking built on tofu. Um, but I didn't know, like I thought it's still gonna stand. But I grabbed it and fuck off, okay? Fuck the right off. My blue towel smashes on the ground. There's dust. It's stupid. Thank God I have my gray towel. It's saved. But still, that's fucking stupid. And I don't know what to do. I'm brainstorming of ideas to, you know, salvage this. But there really isn't any idea to salvage this. A fucking bathroom without a shower towel rack. I was like, what the hell am I going to do? Um, I have a small solution that is very impractical, but it, it, it will work. But I'm going to have to file a maintenance request for this. So, okay, fine. That is dealt with. I've brushed my teeth. Next thing you know, I drink water and I eat food for breakfast, right? So I go out. There's dripping water. There's a fucking lake. Um, and then, And then my oven towel is all wet. There isn't a single dry patch. There isn't a single dry spot in a towel. Somebody used that fucking towel to mop the table or, or the floor or just wet it or, or something. I don't know. And I fucking hate it when people do that to me. People do that to my shit. I fucking hate it. So, anyways, I ate breakfast. I ate, um, my, I finished my grandma's uh, layer cakes. It's getting moldy. But you know what? Fuck it. So I cut off the mold and I, you know, whatever. And again, the... Their kitchen counter is so fucking dirty, it's so messy, it's so gross. I just really miss Rachel and Ashley. I just want them to like, I just want to live with them. I'll tell them that I, I'm a YouTuber. I'll tell them I'm noisy. I'll tell them that I'm messy. Um, but at least they'll, you know, we can help each other out. They'll clean the, the stuff and that's going to make me want to clean the kitchen as well. Like, like and then we'll make it the ground squeaky clean. Like, why? I am so fucking pissed. So, morning, nothing went well. Everything's already shit. Um, the only thing that happened was... So, originally, the Attack on Titan Season 1 Blu-ray is coming tomorrow at 8 p.m. Um, 8 p.m. Um, um, suddenly, I received an email saying, Oh, uh, update delivery. It's already delivered at the front porch. Now. What? So, 10-ish, um... So yeah, um, Zoom meeting, I was like six minutes late and Claire, who was the Chinese TA, texted me asking me uh, if I know there was a Zoom meeting. And I'm like, yeah. So I got on. I wanted to turn off the camera so that I can multitask and do other shit and write my essay and whatever. But uh, the professor preferred that I open my camera. So I did that for the entire class. Um, the only thing I could do is I could go to the art history article and read that in preparation for my essay. That's the only thing I could do. So I did that constantly. But I was so sleepy. My mind was so blank. I read word after word after word on that article. And I still didn't get a single thing. I felt dizzy. Uh, it's like there's a giant anvil on my head crushing me. Even right now. I still feel that way right now. A little bit. Um, and then there's break. And... Um, yeah, so my blue shower towel, thank God, I picked up on the ground and immediately washed it. And immediately threw it in the dryer. And you know, it's, it's a good thing, because if I hadn't washed it, it would have smelled weird anyway. It smelled fishy. Um, so it's good that I'm washing it and drying it again. Um, but, yeah, so, while looking at my phone during break, I suddenly saw this message. But I, I don't, I don't want to go outside and get it. So, I don't know if it's during break or not. Anyways, um, but thank God. So it, it was delivered at around ten twenty ish, and um, or or eleven twenty ish. Um, no, ten something, ten fifty ish, and then at like half an hour later, or or at a right after I finished the class on Zoom, I went outside. And I checked. And at first I thought that my package is stolen again. Even though it's only been half an hour-ish. Um, but I saw the ground and I saw uh, an eBay package. I immediately know it's mine. 
so thank god it's not Solon. I love that I'm so paranoid right now that every little thing from my bed to the shower to the kitchen to packages to food, I don't trust jack fucking shit anymore, okay? Like, the only thing I trust is this bedroom, but even so, my bathroom just cracked open. But, um, my mouse died. Like, there's so many small hassles. There's so many small problems with literally everything that I can't trust shit anymore. Like, any moment now, my clothes is going to rip apart. Um, because it's made of tofu, too, or something. I don't know. Um... So yeah, and I also like spoke up and uh, I told the professor I need to go because I need to head to class. Um, and um, I grew impatient. The professor was like, okay, just wait a little bit. I'll finish quick. Um, I grew impatient and I just said, oh, I'll switch to mobile. I turned off my webcam and I just changed my clothes and everything. I went out to grab the Blu-ray, come back, and the class is still going. Anyways, class is over. I immediately stormed out to the bus and went to art history. Bingo, it worked. The bus arrived on time, right on time. I was right on time, everything worked. Went to class and I had like 25 minutes to kill. It's crazy. By using public transport in LA, you have to rush to the bus with pure anxiety just to get off the bus with extreme relaxation because time is warped so much in this fucking bullshit world. So, I just stood outside the DMC listening to music and looking at the essay again. And I saw Carter. And I spoke to him a little bit. It just doesn't seem like he's that interested in speaking to me. So the whole conversation is really awkward. I asked him, how's your essay doing? He's like, oh, well, I'm down to my last page now. And he's like, you? And I said, well, I haven't started anything at all. And he's like, wow, okay. I mean, you can ask the uh, professor for an extension. And I'm like, oh, I think I can do well. And then I asked him what to do. Because the more I read the essay prompt, the more I'm confused. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? And I don't know if it's because I'm constantly sleep deprived. So for the last couple of months, I can't think clearly. Maybe that's part of the issue. But I just keep getting confused by things now. Six pages, one statue, one article. And the textbook doesn't really help. How the hell am I going to write six pages just with these two things? And the article isn't much. It's very verbose. It's a lot of paragraphs on just one simple concept. So, I don't know. Class went by. It was okay. After class, I spoke with the TA and the professor a little bit about the paper, but it didn't really help at all. It's basically nothing. Nothing burger. Came back home. I tried to use scotch tape. See... One really cool thing is that I'm very fucking resourceful right now. So I have scotch tape, uh, leftover scotch tape and a pair of scissors. And I tried to tape these hooks together. And for a moment it worked. But it still didn't work. It still fucking collapsed at the end. So I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to file maintenance. In the meantime, my dried blue towel. Thank God nobody took my towel out of the dryer and put it on the couch or on top of the dryer or on the ground or something like that. Because otherwise I'm going to explode. I placed it here. Thank God I got an extension bar, but I still don't know how is this going to be practical. Like, this blue towel right now is for my face and my hair after I come back home. And it's not the clean shower towel, it's a slightly dirtier one. Now, I still have the two questions. One, if I take a shower and I need to close the curtains, what the fuck am I going to do with this blue towel? I have no idea. One idea I have is I can move this blue towel to that end and have the shower curtain move to this side of the bar. There will be water splashed from that side, but it's not that important because it's to the mirror and anyways, who cares? This is more important. Second of all, now we have the blue towel. How about the gray towel, the actual clean, clean towel? I can't leave it on the bed forever because after I take a shower and wipe my body with it, the gray towel will be wet. If I put it on my bed, my blanket will be wet. And also there's another object on my bed and I can't sleep comfortably. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take that gray towel and I'm going to also put it on the extension bar for fuck's sakes. So that's my fucking plan. I fucking hate tofu track construction is what this is. Um, so I'm going to make myself a salami cheese tomato sandwich right now. And uh, I'm still going to the APC meeting. And I don't know, there's just this overwhelming sadness. Like, A, I thought life would be easier after February 15th, the short film deadline. But no, 
it still kind of sucks. I'm a little, I have a little more free time now instead of full blown panic attack, but, but still, it's still very busy. I barely have time to work out, draw, write, or read, which are things that I like. It's part of my goals in 2024. Secondly, apparently next week is art history class midterms. Why do I not know that? So I can't fucking catch a break. So this week, religion, we got the writing exercise, which is fun. It's like a thousand words, but it's a fun paper, at least. You're, I'm making up a story about baby Jesus. We got the art history essay, which is due Thursday, 9 p.m. on the same day. Next week, um, American film history essay. Again, number two, which is fucking stupid. And... um. Um, art history midterms. I got a forty out of forty-two for my last mid uh, for my last quiz. I thought that was the midterms. I didn't know the real midterms is coming. But yeah, forty out of forty-two is not bad. I'm Asian. We win these. <laughs> and then immediately afterwards, the spring break. You know, in around December and early January, I was like, oh, in spring break, I maybe I'm gonna go to New York. Maybe I'm gonna go to Arizona. But now, it's already very late notice. I don't even know if I'm going. Like, I don't fucking know anymore. I really don't. Um, I'm not in the mood to go to anywhere. I'm not, like, excited, pumping with excitement to go and visit the world and spend more money. Like, I've already spent bajillion dollars on Blu-rays. And I don't really regret it, but still. Like, Jesus... And also, I feel like I haven't truly immersed myself in USC. It's been eight weeks and I'm I still, I'm still barely scratching the surface. I'm not really making any friends in any of my classes. Rachel and Equal are barely in the Wednesday class. I'm not making any friends in my art history class, religion class. Not really. Um, and definitely not in the film studies classes. Um, what's the other? World building? Not really. I'm not making friends anywhere. The clubs mean jack shit to me i'm not meeting anyone like it's just a walled off anti-social fuck face this this place is i feel like i haven't began to scratch surface how the hell did i manage to socialize in my previous college i have no idea through short films through clubs but i just i don't know i feel like i barely experienced jack and now I'm thinking about going to New York or whatever. It's... I don't know. Again, the plane ticket, the meals that I'm going to have in New York. The fact that I haven't even had a job. It's been half a semester already. I still don't have a job. And I'm burning my money. Burning them, right? And later I'm going to spend $80 on Criterion. Again, no regrets, but still. Ah, fuck me. I really don't know what to do. Everything's happening so fast, and I'm not in the mood to travel. I feel like shit, and um, I'm going to the ABCA club meeting later, by the way. I still am. Maybe it's a terrible idea. I don't know, but I just want to go out and do something and make some friends. Leave me alone. I'm going to do the essay later. I'm going to finish half movie, film two reviews, eat dinner, and then I'll go out. Tomato, cheddar cheese, salami sandwich. Tomato soup with grilled tomatoes. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it, boys. Okay. I'm gonna do it. 20 bucks. Add it. We're not stopping. We're not stopping. Okay. The 
2K version. That's right. Oh, um, actually, you know what? Um, you know, it does not. Let's um, let's let's reverse this. Let's reverse this. Let's reverse this. Because we need to do it in order. Okay, first Blu-ray I'm gonna get. In the mood for love. Boom, the 2K version. Second one I'm gonna get. Parasite. Boom. Third one. Yee yee. Three hours, only twenty dollars. Fourth one, Persona. There we go. Only eighty-eight minutes, also twenty dollars. Check it out. Ooh, ooh, oh, free shipping. Oh shit! Oh shit! The taxes are gonna hit me though. The taxes are gonna be. It's gonna be tough. Okay. Next step. 87. You know what? Not too bad. Not too bad. 3, 2, 1. Boom. Oh. 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 oh I did it. I did it. Oakley dokley. It's 11.32. Um. Just finished dinner. Um. Which is uh, rice, curry, pork chop, zucchini, uh, choy sum. Very nice. Uh, I give this like a 6 out of 10. Um, yeah, so I... I don't know. Um, so there is no um, APCA club meeting today, apparently. I went to their Instagram bio, and it says, Next GM 229, which means next group meeting. You know, next general meeting, February 29th. Uh, leap day. Woo! But, um, yeah. Which is great news. Great fucking news. Because tonight I have more free time to do my own shit. Um, and instead what I did was I had a two hour long phone call. 40 minutes with Thomas and then one hour and 20 minutes with my mom. Holy fucking shit. I just wasted two hours of time. Um, I still haven't started on the art history essay. No worries though. I'm gonna do it right now and I'm, I swear on my ball sacks. I'm gonna finish one third of it. Right fucking now. Um, and then I'll do my religion class paper. Half of it, perhaps. Um, yeah, I also pulled the trigger. And I bought four Criterion Blu-rays. Um, it's kind of crazy how crisp my voice is. Despite the fact that a couple hours ago my voice was raspy as hell. But yeah, I pulled the trigger and I bought four Criterion Blu-rays for 87 bucks, Tax included. You know what? Not bad. Um, I'm happy I went low. And I went with just four Criterions, four 2K discs, um, nothing more, not more, not less. Um, and I actually spent a little time before dinner while I was starving to death, um, go through just like the money I spent, you know. And I realized I haven't really spent all that much money this month so far. So far in terms of food, I've only paid 370 something dollars. I'm going to, tomorrow's a Wednesday, I'm going to go to Ralph's. Plus, I'm going to go to order more food on wheat. But both of these trips are going to be very tiny and negligible. Um, so, maximum, I think, $400. Um, 400-ish. Which is not that bad. Honestly, not too shabby. Um, and, uh, yeah. It's, it's okay. I think I'm doing financially okay, but... I'm so pissed that I don't have a job and I don't have scholarships. Um, honestly, the first half of today felt terrible. Felt like shit. A bad sleep leads to bad mood. If I had a good sleep tonight, I'll have feel fucking amazing. But yeah, today, the first half was... I felt like shit and a little bit depressed. A small part of me, the small, sad, self-hating, hopeless, empty part of me uh, showed itself just for a couple hours for a couple hours I felt like shit I felt like I'm back to zero kind of like March of 2022 where I basically 
realize that I'm useless and I have no friends and I and I just cry and I want to cry and I didn't want to cry today. It's just that like I could see myself crying today, but I, I didn't want to cry. But after having a phone call with my mom, I realized my situation ain't so bad. Sure, USC is up to my neck with crazy assignments and exams and homework, but honestly, I can handle it. It's tough, but with more precise time management, I think I can handle it. Um, after all, right now, it feels like two to three assignments per week, which honestly isn't so bad. It's more or less the same as like the uh, amount of assignments back in secondary school, except this time it's a million times harder because it's not a worksheet, it's a paper, it's an essay. Um, but yeah, also after some thinking, I don't think I'm going anywhere in spring break. Um, I can go for an adventure like once, um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to New York. Honestly, Thomas isn't doing so swell either. His living space is very tight. Not great for me to go. I don't want to spend more money. I just want to sleep. I'm tired. I want to sleep all week during spring break. Also, what if someone makes a short film during spring break? What if um, USC organizes some sort of events during spring break? What if, I don't know, there are parties? Oof. Uh, a true, true blues American party. With Red Solo Cup. If Cliff's birthday party doesn't count. Again, it's really interesting. Because like, before coming to America, it's like, oh my god. Red Solo Cups and alcohol, people smoking weed. Hot, attractive, young men and women who are all very comfortable with themselves. With unhinged senses of humor, trapped in a room. Um, isn't that what... Like Cliff's birthday party is. And I say attractive, hot and attractive. I say in an objective sense. I don't find everyone hot and attractive. I just say like conventionally speaking. You know there are no ugly nerds in that room. You know we're all quote unquote extroverted. Even though half of us aren't. Like me included. Uh, Cliff especially is not an extrovert. Um, but you know. But a true blues USC flavored euphoria flavored party is something that I would still need to experience at least once. Um, yeah, I digress. I need to do my homework now. Bye bye. Going to bed hella early tonight. To complete this process, go to medical clearances and click the update button. Click the upload button to upload your scan records or take photos with your mobile device. Okay, I'm at medical clearances, okay? Update. Where, where's the upload button? Where the fuck is the upload button? Here. No. Here. No. Do I edit it? No. What, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Most students can complete this requirement by submitting proof of vaccine from a Lab tier result. The second. Where do I? What am I doing? Where? 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 What? I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, let's see what you got, man. Man, I don't even want to talk about this, okay? Because it's like, that's something that you must be doing. Get off my phone with that bullshit, for real. I don't want to be bothered with that. Bye. I ain't for dumb shit, man. Man, Time now is um, 11.43 a.m. on um, Feb 28th. Um, yeah, so 
slept from 3.50 to 10.45, which is great. I beat the 4 a.m. curse um, by 10 minutes, but um, still doesn't feel great at all. Um, I want to sleep even earlier, especially given the fact that I need to wake up early tomorrow morning. But, uh, yeah. Um, and then I laid on my bed for like half more hour. I woke up, I, I was brushing my, I was in the middle of brushing my teeth. Suddenly, I hear footsteps and a ding dong. Here we go. It's the mechanic. I was halfway through brushing my teeth. I had foam in my mouth and a toothbrush. And there's an old black dude who just came in and he's like, you talking to himself, swearing to himself. And he's like, I, you know, what's the problem, you know? And, and I'm like, oh, uh, can you please take off your shoes? And he's like, I, I'm going to get my booties on. And then he, uh, you know, he's like, yeah, yeah, put that shit in there. Yeah, get in there, motherfucker. And then. So, so anyways, he, he fixed a towel rack, essentially. Um, and he's making phone calls, and some woman called him, and he's like, shut your bullshit-ass mouth, or something. I don't know, it's kind of hilarious, but thank God I was awake for this. Had I woken up at 11.30, and not a little earlier, I would have been, like, fucked. Like, it would just be me waking up. All I needed to do is take my carpet out, and hide my uh, gray shower towel under the bed. Um, but everything's good, so, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, today's Wednesday, CTSCS 394, after that I'll go to Ralph's. Um, in the morning I'm going to finish Tatami Galaxy and do a review of it, hopefully I have enough time. Um, I would highly doubt that, honestly. Um, and, uh, yeah, excited for the Criterions to come, but I really... I email Criterion immediately about my gate passcode situation, but they're like, oh, it's too late. But I literally emailed them immediately after I ordered. So the only way I could do this is go to U USPS and intercept package. Either that or, because I have my phone number and everything, either that or they just call me. And I have to be around my apartment when, they, when the Criterions come. Um, yeah, um, not much else, honestly. Last night, yesterday felt bad in the beginning, but last night was actually not bad, because last night felt productive. I managed to do a little bit of everything, like, um, the Japan vlog, the Cantonese Japan vlog, the first one took me months to finish editing. This one, I believe, can take me weeks because this one is already really short. Um, so that's that. So I don't need to like trim down every single video and whatever. Um, I finally grasped the idea like on what's happening on my art history essay. Um, it's still one statue and one paper and I have to bullshit everything out. But... I've done this before. When I took LS, I have to bullshit the entire thing. So um, this time around, it's even more interesting because I have to bullshit about, you know, something that I'm kind of interested in. Um, so yeah, I made an outline and I typed two pages already. Everything's good. In the middle of class today, I can type even more. So no problems. Religion class, I still haven't typed anything, but I'm working on it. Um... And I, I, again, I sort of understand what I need to do for religion class. It's all right. I'm sure I can finish it by today. Um, oh, lots of commotion. Um, and, um, yeah, tower rack is fixed now. So, you know, no more suffering tonight. Thank God it's fixed within, like, a day. Or, like, within two days. Um, but, um. Um, yeah, not much else, I guess. Um, I think for spring break, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to see if there are any gatherings, friendship stuff happening. Um, everyone's everywhere. I don't know why. Like, Pepper went to Seattle. Um, I don't know. 
I kind of want to go somewhere too, but I'm also like just tired as fuck. I think I'm just going to go for an adventure somewhere, you know, like, um, you know, maybe I'll go to, um, I'll have a day trip to Riverside, you know, why not? I'll, uh, do a day trip to, I don't know, day trip to Long Beach again, part two, or, um, I don't know, something fun. Um, maybe Michelle wants to go to Disneyland with me. That's something that she mentioned yesterday. So a day trip to Anaheim. That's an adventure in and of itself. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, excited for the Criterions. That's all I'm thinking about. Eating a peanut butter toast. Time now is um, 9.41, my laptop is screaming, 9.41 p.m. Let's talk about today real quick, one sec, haven't even had dinner. No, no, no. So, yeah, woke up this morning, immediately after I woke up, the mechanic came. Um, fuck maintenance requests, I did not fuck them. I'm thankful that he's here to fix the shower towel rack, and, um, you know, I only have to deal with the stupid... You know, shower towel rack broken thing issue for one night. Uh, so from tonight onwards, I can live normally with the shower towel again. But um, still, it's like you know the dude can come can show up literally anytime. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, despite waking up maybe ten minutes earlier, I once again basically ran out of time to go to school. Again, my class starts at 2 p.m., so I want to leave at 1.20 to catch the 120 bus, um, but I couldn't, so I caught the 150 bus. But even so, um, I had seven minutes left. I had seven minutes to... Um, that's a fucking conclusion. Fuck off, bro. I had seven minutes to get the chicken pot pie out of the fridge cut it up, put it on a plate, microwave it, eat it, and then change my clothes, grab my laptop and everything, put it in my backpack, shut the lights off, and leave. Seven fucking minutes. So I cut up maybe one-fourth of the chicken pot pie. I have to eat something. Otherwise, I will, I will starve to death in the theater. At the same time, I only have seven minutes. If I miss the 120 bus, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be a whole fucking hour late. So... Or the 150 bus. <coughs> so, um, yeah, so I shoved it into my mouth. It's insanely hot. It's so stupid. Everything's stupid. But I somehow caught the bus right on time once again. Seriously, from next week onwards, every Monday and Wednesday, I'm going to wake up at 10.45 and not 11.30. 11.30 is cutting it too fucking close. Especially given the fact that I had to finish watching the, the Tatami Galaxies last one and a half episodes this morning anyways went to school i don't think i saw rachel i think i saw her but i didn't speak to her because she came after i came and she left before i left so she's just like somewhere 
Um, so I sat in the seat and I typed my notes and everything. And during class, I typed my essay. I typed one more page worth of essay for my art history class. And I also began typing my religious religion class paper. It's fucking crazy while typing notes for the class at the same time. So I'm literally juggling three homework. And that's a good strategy. Holy balls. Because, you know, how did I deal with the workload when I was in secondary school? By literally doing homework in the middle of class. Like secretly doing homework in the middle of class. Or doing homework in between classes or lessons. Or doing homework in uh, recess and lunchtime. Like... That's how I survived, and only a small portion of the homework was actually done at home. At home, I watch movies and do reviews. That's always the strategy. I should adopt that strategy again. Um, so, yeah, I am, um, you know, and also doing homework after class. Speed running homework because you don't want to do it at home. That, that's a very good attitude. But the thing is, you can't really do that anymore in universities because papers are a huge deal. And also, you do it on a laptop, so we all have the luxury to go home and do it instead of doing it right there, right now. Um, <coughs> but, um, yeah, I low-key miss the fighting spirit that everyone had back in Forms 4 and 5 and 6, where the moment we got the biology uh, worksheet, we would just immediately do it. And then the next morning, people would be like handing in the papers and you would be able to see who's handing in and who hasn't. And you're like, fuck, I gotta do it. There's a sense of competition constantly. Um, but anyways, um, during a break, I spoke with Equal a little bit. At least there's someone who exists who I can speak to. Um, and, you know, a bit here and there, yada yada. Um... Yeah, so tomorrow night is the APCA club meeting. I think I'll go. Um, I believe I can finish the paper tonight. Or if not, then tomorrow. It's fine. Tomorrow class ends at 2 p.m. I come home, finish the paper, I leave. Easy peasy, okay? Um, so, uh, <coughs> yeah. Anyways, there's also this Oscars battle thing where we all have to participate in, like, this... Um, Oscars prediction thing where I, I was given a worksheet and I just ticked the boxes of like what I predict and because I've already done it already in my head so I know exactly what to tick and I gave it back but anyways um uh, she played Harlem County USA which is a documentary I don't understand it at all I don't understand what's happening at all because I 50% of the dialogue I can't even hear it anyways um, in the middle of the movie, I suddenly fucking remembered that today is class registration for summer semester. Fucking balls. So, um, <laughs> I, I totally forgot this morning. Holy shit. So I immediately, and I was in the middle of the movie, so I took out my phone and secretly checked my, my USC and the re web registration and oh my god. So last night I picked out five professors who are high rated um, or, or are acclaimed uh, on Reddit, Reddit approved, um, and three of them is already closed. Three of the best professors, their classes have closed. Um, and those are the classes that I really wanted. The three of them are basically my top three choices. Um, because A, they're arts and humanities. I'm a film major, brother. Second of all, online. Third of all, Tuesdays and Thursdays, which is an ideal time because I will be heading to Seattle on June 19th, Wednesday. Um, I'm on a plane. I don't have time to go to class. Um, again, online, it would be ideal. I don't want to go to campus twice a week, you know. So... I was in a humongous conundrum, but, so I'm like, fine. So my fourth choice was, um, engineering. So I wanted to go to checkout and register for this class, right? I can't. There's a hold. There's, um, major advisory hold. 
what the fuck? I thought I'm done with this shit. A few days ago, I've already handled the fee hold by paying $151. And last night, I finally handled the health hold because I uploaded um, uh, documentation of the two measles, mumps, and rubella vaccinations to the health portal. And now suddenly you're telling me there's another hold? Fuck me. So, yeah. I immediately emailed the CAMS major advisory, uh, academic advisor, and I kept checking my phone while watching the movie to make sure I got the email. It turns out I got the email, so I immediately registered for the class. But after the movie ended, we had like five minutes where the professor talked about the movie before we went on to watch The Making Of. And, um... <coughs> yeah. So I immediately registered for that class. Yippee ki yay. And then I thought to myself, and I'm like, hold on. Is this a bad idea? Writing class for engineers. I'm not a fucking engineering major, okay? I'm not a fucking engineer major. What the fuck am I doing? However, this professor is very high rated and also it's ultimately a writing class. It shouldn't have anything to do with engineering. Maybe it has something to do with engineering, but overall it should be about just writing, right? And then it's like, I, I don't know. So I DM'd Glenn and then I DM'd Rachel and asked them for advice. And they're just like, don't, you know, just don't. Glenn was like, oh, do business or arts and humanities. And Rachel was like, yeah, do arts and humanities. Um, but the thing is, all the arts and humanities writing classes are all fucking closed. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the academic advisor lifted the hold. So now I'm, now I'm done. I'm fine. So I went from the engineer. So after class, we got off early today, like half an hour early. It, it was 5.20. I went to the SCA, went to a couch and sat down. And I just, like, for half an hour, I did nothing but, like, back and forth, just second-guessing myself. So I dropped the, the engineer writing class, and then I went for a business class, because business seems to be better, right? Because Glenn recommends me to take business writing. Um... And there are two professors who I can take. One is very high rated, but um, apparently she, and I did tons of research. I went to readmyprofessor.com. I downloaded a Google extension that literally is like a plugin that makes the web registration website for USC more clear by showing you which classes are full of which classes like clash. Which is fucking crazy. I've never heard of this extension before. I didn't even know Google can do that shit. Um. <coughs> so, there's that. Next up. Okay, so there are two business professors I can go for. One is higher rated. But apparently she does VBP. What the fuck is VBP? I don't know. Turns out it stands for... um. I don't really know what it stands for, actually. Vir a virtual business project. Right, virtual business project. And it's like you work with students around the world or around the campus to make a business or something. And it's like a very business thing. And I thought to myself, okay, cool. It's a very high-rated professor, not a lot of assignments, but apparently, like, VBP and everything, like, I I'm not a business major. I know as little about engineering as I do business. There's another business professor who's a guy and he has okay ratings on Raymond Professor, but a lot of the ratings for writing 340 in particular is pretty positive. And he's very caring and blah, blah, blah. So I literally changed from the engineering to the business professor to the guy business professor and then back to engineering or back to the other one and then I changed it back so I kept dropping and adding classes I kept changing my mind 
for five times. Like I changed it four times and I registered five times. So at the end, I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'll go for engineering. I went to Reddit and I literally read through all the Reddit posts about writing 340. And, you know, some of them are like, well, non-engineering majors can also do engineer writing. And I say that as a business major. And for some reason, every time someone talks about how non-engineer majors doing an engineer writing class, it's a business major. And, you know, business and engineering, Marshall and Viterbi, they're like brothers. Um, and they're all very technical. I'm a film major, bro. I'm like an outsider. So maybe going for engineering is a terrible fucking idea. I know nothing about engineering. So I kept doubting myself. But then at the same time, I'm like, well, then, again, business. I don't know anything about business. Isn't that even worse? Like, at least for engineering, I took physics classes back in secondary school. You know, at least I know a little bit. At least I took biotech. You know, at least I know a little bit about biotech. You know, business is like a nightmare. I'm sorry. Also, again, with that particular engineering professor, she on Reddit, there's one Reddit comment that basically says, oh, this professor in particular is really nice. Her questions, her essay questions are open-ended. Open-ended how? Like open-ended as in you can write about literally anything or is it still about engineering? There's a website called Corsicle. And you can literally check the background of every single professor. This engineering professor also teaches about cinema, but as a GE class, as a human inquiries class, which is very interesting. And I thought, well, what if I take her class, but not be super engineering focused? So at the end, I decided to just fuck it. I'll go for engineering. So that's my final decision. I also sent an email to uh, the, the professor that I wanted the most and asked and begged him to add me into the class, but if not, fine. In fact, it's a little interesting because this is like one of my few chances of dabbling into engineering in USC, like a little a tiny affiliation with the Viterbi side of things. Um, and again, um, while I was on my laptop, suddenly a girl or a woman walked past me and sat on a couch to my front and to my right. It's the Chinese girl from Neither Donkey Nor Horse, who is also a camp major, who I ran into after About Dry Grasses. And I still didn't know her name, I, I forgot her name. So we talked a little bit, and I asked her about writing 340, and he's like, yeah, you know, um, yeah, she didn't say much. Um, but I asked her, oh, do you follow me on Instagram? Turns out she doesn't. And then after she followed me, I then found out that her name is Jamie. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I went for engineering and then I walked to Ralph's, free lift back home, easy peasy. There are two Asian girls with me in that free lift. Um, yeah, dropped me off, walked back home. Yay. I ate the other half of the chicken pot pie that I was supposed to eat. Um, and uh, very soon I'm going to have dinner. So, yeah, that's that. I'm confident that I can finish both art history and religion papers. Um, it just fucking sucks. Part of me wants to just fuck it. I'll take writing 340 next summer. But that's stupid. Writing 340 is something that you immediately take to get out of the way. Um, and next summer I want to go to Cannes Film Festival. And... There's no way I'm going to do it two years later. Yet, just because I forgot to, you know, register for classes and email the academic advisor to remove my hold. When I register for classes eight hours after 9 a.m., a.k.a. 5 p.m., or actually 5.30, half the classes I want are already gone. But you know what? I'll take it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right. The Chinese girl, Jamie, she was like, oh, you know, it's a rumor, but I heard that engineering writing classes are really easy and business are really hard. And that partially influenced me to make the final decision on getting engineering as writing class. Again, it's going to be weird because I know jack shit about engineering, but again, it's a writing class. It shouldn't be about engineering. Maybe... The topic of the essays will be related to engineering, 
then in that case, well, I'm a curious man. I'm a fast learner. I can Google search, fall into a couple rabbit holes, and learn some basic engineering. I, I might as well just do that. Why the hell not? Um, and yeah, but yeah, next time there's a class registration, which is, I think, late March, I will be right on time. Uh, yeah, I spoke with Ryan, um, the Chinese-American guy. And he's like, oh yeah, you know, I was registering for classes. In fact, I'll, I registered for writing 340, and I was like, me too. And he's like, oh yeah, I, like, at 9 a.m. sharp, I immediately registered um, for the um, Brett class, Professor Brett something. And I'm like, oh my god, that's, I know that professor. That's the five out of five professor in Rate My Professor. Like, that's the professor who I wanted to go for the most. So he got it. Since he got it, I might as well assume that a bunch of people I know and a bunch of camps people, a bunch of film people are also in that class. Um, but now I'm just like off the beaten path. I'm suddenly going for engineering. So, yeah. So now I'm doing writing for engineering. I have religion minor, which is in Dorn Saif. I'm in film, which is SCA. Let's see how much I can expand. Like, let's see how much I can expand. <laughs> Fuck. But, um, yeah, that's that. Um, Who the hell makes carne asada but chops them up like this? Cheers. Oh my god. Yellow potatoes, too soft. <laughs>